It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brass Castle Brewery and it's a bottle of their Christmas Kitty. It's a beer described as a dark robust porter enhanced with vanilla and Christmas spices. Looking forward to this one. As I said, 5.5% ABV. Uh, we've got our bottle opener. Uh, it's a silver cap. The beer was kindly sent to us by beersofeurope.co.uk. Our channel sponsors. So if you pop to their website, at the moment they've got their 12 beers of Christmas on. So you'll be able to order that for Christmas. Um, it's it, Well, I've been drinking the 12 beers of Christmas and they've all been really good. I'm a big fan of Brass Castle Brewery. I do like their beers. Uh, I think I've had a vanilla porter from them previously that was amazing. So Christmas Kitty, you can pick it up at beersofeurope.co.uk. So we've got a one finger tank coloured head this dissipating quite quickly. Uh, it's a jet black porter. No light bleeding in there whatsoever. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. As I said, jet black, let's get the aroma. Looking forward to this. Oh yeah, winter spices. Maybe a bit of ginger in there, maybe a bit of lemon, maybe a bit of coriander. Oh, it smells delightful, it really does. That vanilla they talk about on the back of the bottles coming through in the aroma. And of course, you've got the porter behind that as well. So a lot of roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel, I like to call it, in the aroma. Now, I have had, it's been really interesting, drinking these Christmas beers, the ales, the regular ales that I've been reviewing with the spices in have been good. But the spices in the porters and the stouts have just, they just seem to fit better. A Christmas beer, a porter or a stout with Christmas winter spices just seems to work better than a regular ale. Let's see if it's the case with this beer. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's really good. Kind of like chivey and coriandery and cinnamon. There's cinnamon in there. I don't think I kind of I was kind of grasping at nettles a little bit with chive and coriander. Maybe a little bit of coriander, but but I think more cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of ginger. You definitely get the vanilla. Lovely levels of carbonation. The beer kind of zings around the inside of the mouth. I've cooled this beer. Not too cold. Not too cold that you lose all of the flavours from the beer. But enough for it to kind of go down nicely. Very drinkable. It's yeah, a very drinkable porter. It's not it's not big, thick and gloopy. There's there's the, the nice levels of kind of roasted malt in there is not too much that it, it kind of fattens the beer out, that, that it kind of makes it thick and, and gloopy. I do like that in a porter and a stout by the way, but also I do I'm leaning over now towards the drinkable porters as well. This is a very drinkable porter. A lovely beer, a lovely beer. Let's see how they, how well I've spoken. I've told you what it's described as. Um, you can pick it up at beersofeurope.co.uk. Brass Castle Breweries Christmas Kitty. A beer brewed with Christmas spices. I really like it. Um, cinnamon's a flavour that I've learned to love in a beer, especially these Christmas beers. I think they really do go well uh, with, the, with these beers added to the beer. It's a nice fit. Rating, I think it's a good 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, a very decent beer worth trying. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.